Hey guys, Gameboy3D on here once again, playing some more Beam and G Drive in a brand new update. This is Beam and G 0.18. And we're going to be taking a look at the new Crawler D series, along with some of the new lighting effects. And then we will get into today's main focus of did we finally fix the axle? Uh, I'll tell you one thing though, with all this lighting and reflections of at least the inside lights here, it's looking like 2015, 2014 beam all again. It's like, what is this? Even the thumbnails look like this. <laughs> it's just white. <laughs> you go through all the effort of making our thumbnails look like official ones. Where is the CRD? There it is. You can see how it's got like the gray and white. But now it's all just white, as if it was 2015. All the work we do always gets undone, every update. But, nonetheless, let's go ahead, find the D-Series, and just give it a poke. As that is the most interesting one. Uh, there is also, like, drift configurations of a lot of other cars, but don't really care about drift vehicles, I'll be honest. I mean, they're cool, they're powerful, they're fast, but not fast in the way we're used to. Uh, this is a problem. Which one is the real one? <laughs> There's the pig one. Is that the same one as always? Really? Do I need to go search crawler or something? Wait, is that an official one? They gave the D-Series a drag? An official drag one? Why? But no, I'm... That must be the one, right? The... D-15 off-road or crawler. There's no crawler one that I can see. Oh, wow. That gives you, like, a lot more nodes to grab, it seems. Or at least the bubble to grab nodes has gotten bigger, so you can see more nodes at a time. That's cool. Uh... No, okay. That doesn't help us at all. I'll just do the pig and hope that's actually the right one. If it's not the right one, then call me a total failure as usual. Pig, get over here. This map is very loud. can barely hear the truck. It did load very fast, though. I will give it that. Yep, this is handling about as you'd expect. That's weird, though. It spawns with the suspension fully compressed. Is that a new, like, suspension test feature? Or is that just buggy... Like, first rollout of an update, and it'll be fixed in a hotfix. At least, like, maps don't have stuff ruined for them. That's good. And I just noticed the concrete barriers. I'm not sure if Jedi made them that color to better match the map here. But if they're that color by default now, I sense a lot of maps getting ruined. Okay, why is that still a feature? I thought that was not a feature. Controls. I need to unkeybind this. Because it's no longer required. 
Twitch the next vehicle and multi key. That's the new button. That's an important button for us in the upcoming championship series. But now, for single player, it's only for likes. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I think that's about it for the D series. Let's see how long it'll take to load up a CRD truck. Just a base one for now. To see if it still works. Everybody grab a drink, settle down, find a home, get a job, sort your life together, do all that stuff, because this will take a while to load. Because I cleared cash on top of a bring of a beam and G update, so that means it'll take literally years. Or no, it won't. Wow. Uh, chassis specular has broken. Unless it's supposed to look like that now. Call me crazy though, but that looks like it's no texture boy. As specular. Maybe that's just a map. Or it could be reflections? I do have dynamic reflections on all the way. I think the, the ramps are still uh, concrete because I didn't update the dirt files yet. I'm going to wait until uh, at least one hotfix is out to replace the dirt files. If you don't know, the Mighty Casey did special dirt files for his maps and everyone else's maps who uses his dirt files. So that colored dirt will act as dirt and not concrete. just makes the maps a little bit more realistic. I, I've, I've forgotten what it's like <laughs> to have tires that are capable of putting up with that strength of abuse or whatever. Alright, Martyr. Let's see now. Real test for today. It might be because I have uh, a lot of the 1.16 mods uninstalled, but things do seem to be loading a little bit faster. Right, so Martyr, of course, has the new axles, the newest rendition of the axles. And I think they look more gold than they should. <laughs> look at the wheels. I'm going to try disabling dynamic reflection. It's more like what it's supposed to look like, but they're still very gold. I'm not sure if it's supposed to look like that. With the new lighting, it makes some trucks look way, way too shiny. Dynamic reflection can fix that in a map like this, where it's mostly dark outside, but it's still looking too bright in my eyes. I think a lot of cube maps are going to have to be completely remade. Uh, 
All right, let's see. What tasks can we do here? So far, the truck surviving everything. Ooh, did you see that? Driving over the hood, which fine. Before, when I tried to drive over the hood, all I would do is push the hood. It's a hilarious sight, but it shouldn't happen. Let's see if they fix that. Nope. <laughs> hilarious. I thought they did something game-changing. We no longer push fiberglass hoods on the ground with monster truck tires. Leave it to me to find stuff to break stuff easily. I don't know. Stuff. I say stuff a lot. Alright, that's a steep ramp. That's the back side of a racing ramp, and that's not uncommon. Let's try and see if we can get that just by doing a bicycle save. Because on top of this being a beam update, there's also an update to the axle. And I'm not sure what effect one has on the other, or if they even do at all. There's no good bicycle spots on this map, really. Oh, that's cool. Little reverse light is more bright. That's about still the same. Hmm. Although, how much of that was just it being grabbed by the wall there? Because... Grabby walls and Jedi please fix. <laughs> okay, that one was the hood's fault. <laughs> I've had that happen before. It's hilarious when it happens, like, in a run, but it's unhelpful there at best. I think for the most part, the actual, at least the wheel hub, was given a lot more strength. And that is what's solving the super easy breakages. But if something glitchy happens, like the hood, or a direct impact to the uh, front bar there, tie rod, it does still break wheels. And I'm not sure why. It is surviving way better than before, though. Maybe we can move on with this. Maybe we won't cancel the actual update for 1.17. But I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Is this actual breaking as it should? Should it be pushed back? Or do you think it'll be ready for a 1.17 2019 TM release, TM probably not, but whatever, soon TM release. Doing stuff like this, like classic Beam and G saves, does seem to be way better. I haven't noticed any random breakages just falling over and stuff like I have before. Uh, the fire needs work on maps like Jedi's and stuff. Still looks like fire, just a really, really dark fire. Needs some more orange added to it. I think that'll about do it. That was more or less a perfect landing that would have normally broken off at least two tires, and we survived fine. 
Uh, looks like we did get some suspension damage of some degree. You can see we're kind of leaning way forward now. We lost the coilovers. We lost the coilovers, but it's still got suspension. What is this? What? Is that supposed to happen? Suspension has lost its coilovers, but it's still working. I was going to end the video, but no, that's a new thing. Since when could that happen? What happens if I take a jump? Okay, now that just that front left looks properly loose, but it's not breaking off. What? It is. Yeah, it is supposed to have coilovers. Why did it just break the model? Did it just break the model for the spring, and it was still actually there? That might that might have been what happened. I did clear cache before. This whole video. I don't know. That's a weird oddity. If it's intentional and it's a weird breakage for coilovers due to how the new hopper will be when that finally comes out with a full rock crawler spec and stuff with coilovers, hopefully. Uh, I say well done. If it's a bug and the model just got killed for no reason, then fix that. But other, other than that, and the one weird time where the hood took off both front tires. New actual update, success. Actually a success. That'll be it for now. Thanks, Game Boy Out. I will see you in the future. Martyr is back!